What's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, with an educational video for you. So today I will not be slamming into any walls, flipping cars over in simulators, or teabagging my dead teammate corpses by accident. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you something uh, with value. Uh, one of the problems I had updating to Windows 8, and if you guys see my other videos, you know that I did update to Windows 8, is that NVIDIA drivers seem like they're way behind on Windows 8, especially with NVIDIA Surround. So, And what I mean by this is not from a performance perspective, but when you're on the desktop, right? So they don't have any of the features of the Windows 7 drivers. So like, for instance, if I open up you know, a window and I maximize it, it goes across all three screens. And uh, Windows 7, when you enable NVIDIA Surround by default, um, it's set to maximize to a single display, and that works great. Uh, but in Windows 8, that option's not there. The other thing is the taskbar spans the whole bottom of the screen. You see it goes across all three of my screens down here. And uh, that's freaking annoying because uh, I just want my taskbar on the center screen. I don't need it on the other screen. So, And that option's not available either. So I did find a solution, though. Digging through the NVIDIA forums, I found this post right here. And... Uh, we got this cool guy here named Signific. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right if you've seen this video. But uh, he actually figured out how to patch the control panel binary, the NVCPLUI EXE. And he figured out exactly which bytes to patch to re-enable the features that NVIDIA for some reason took out. And I still, I still don't understand why NVIDIA disabled these features. Maybe there was some more testing. Maybe there's some aftermath I just haven't experienced yet. But they pretty much disabled it. So if I come down here and I open up the NVIDIA control panel, right here, this is stock. You go under desktop, and you're like, where is it? There used to be stuff in here to say, oh, don't maximize across all screens, three screens and center the display bar. Why isn't that there anymore? So that when I first updated the Windows 8, I was like, oh, shit, this sucks. Because if you've ever had to switch between surround and non-SLI mode to enable each monitor independently, it is painful. You have to kill applications and stuff, and you have to wait for it to do the transition, and then half the time it doesn't remember the order of your screen, so you have to fuck with that too. Um, this solves all those problems. Now, the downside is as soon as they release a new version of the control panel, all these offsets are most likely going to change, which means we'll have to wait for this significant guy to discover the new ones and give us the patch for it, or just hope that NVIDIA is not going to be douchebags and they're going to actually like enable it properly. So looking at this right here, you can download his version right here. It's patched, but just keep in mind it is going to raise red flags when you try to run it because he patched the binary and it no longer matches the signature, which means Windows is going to go, holy shit, this is a virus of some kind. It's not. The virus scanner didn't pick up or hit on anything. So first I downloaded this binary, and I got it sitting here on the desktop. So this is the, this is the patched NVIDIA control panel. And it's the same version as the one that I have down in the task tray. It's just this is the patched EXE. And when I open this up, I still have all my options. Everything's before. But if you look under desktop, oh, look. All the settings are back. So now I can come in here and say, oh, I want to confine taskbar to a single display. Lo and behold, there it is. Taskbar is on a single display right down here. I can also come in here and say, okay, surround displays, I want to uh, not maximize windows across all displays. Whoa, what's going on here? It actually works. So what's going on, NVIDIA? I mean, it works good. Look, it, e it, even, it even supports the drag, drag maximize feature. <laughs> so so the feature actually seems like it works better in Windows 8 than it did in Windows 7 because even in Windows 7 I had some problems with like dragging to the top there'd, there'd be some distortion before it finally figured out where to put it um, it seems like it works flawlessly so now I've got my taskbar on the center screen I've got maximized the monitor so now I can't even tell them in surround mode right I mean this is this is this is exactly what I want so this this is just completely and totally badass so now I can come back here and go oh truly maximize and uh, here, I'm going to move this over here and move this here. Oh, God, this is a thing of beauty. And not only that, but window arrow key works to switch between the screens. Although on the center screen, it didn't stay maximized. Why? Let's see. Okay, so there, there is a bug. There is a bug. Who knows? That could be one that they're working out. Um, but still, you're able to actually move it between the screens. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's Windows key left and right arrow. So this guy did the patch. I'm going to go ahead and post the links in the description to both this thread and to the patched uh, control panel. Keep in mind that if a new version of the driver comes out after today, which is 3.17, um, 2013, you're probably going to need a new patched zip, but he'll probably, or EXE, and he'll probably have that on this thread. I'm guessing this guy will probably figure out how to patch that one also. 
Also keep in mind that the patch that he has is only for the 64-bit version. If you're running an x86 build, which I can't imagine any gamer out there is, but if somehow you are, then these offsets are probably not going to be right for you. Uh, but again, this is this is that you know this is this is gold. This is pure gold because I don't understand why Nvidia doesn't have this enabled out of the gate because it's see the feature seems to work better in Windows 8 than it did in Windows 7. So I really don't know why they don't do it. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope this gave you a nerdgasm. Check uh, check the description for the links and give this a try and weigh in. If you know something that I don't or I didn't touch on in this video, a bug or a problem, please uh, bring it out in the comments and people can like it up to the top so that uh, people don't waste their time if this thing ends up having like you know totally shitty problems. I'm not seeing them personally, but some of you might. Uh, and uh, also, if you're ever in the NVIDIA forums and you see this uh, significant guy, uh, point him to my video. I'd love him to see that you know the, the work that he's done and the patching that he's done um, actually has gotten some fanfare on YouTube because I love it when developers like this go out and just you know take take the shit into their own hands and fix it. Right? I did. I created a library for those Wemo switches because Belkin wouldn't, and uh, and a lot of people have messaged me, and a lot of people are using it, and I'm like that. That's awesome. So. You know, I want to make sure these people get noticed. And also, just as a side note, before um, I found this patch for the NVIDIA control panel, there was another application written by this Eric Nilo guy, and it's called Maximize Window 2. And he actually created an application solution to this problem that doesn't require NVIDIA in any way, shape, or form. And uh, let me show you how that works, too, just in case this is another potential option that you want to use, especially if for some reason they update the NVIDIA control panel and we don't get new patched bits to enable these options. This will be kind of a fallback plan. So go ahead and uh, disable or enable maximize across all windows. Well, now you run his application here. And it's down in the task tray. And you got to configure it first for the amount of screens and the bezel correction and the polling interval. But once you do that, now when you maximize, you see it does maximize to all three screens, but then he grabs it immediately and brings it to the right screen. So this is the, this is the polling solution. Um, whereas, you know, with NVIDIA, they're, they're doing stuff internally. That's why you don't, see the, you don't see it going full screen and then come back down. They're actually trapping stuff and manipulating it internally. But uh, I think this is really cool, too, that, uh, that another guy came up with a solution before the patching of the control panel. So hopefully the patch in the control panel is a good sign that the next driver that comes out from NVIDIA is going to have this stuff just turned on by default because it looks like it's working fine. But uh, no, no guarantees by any stretch. So when the next control panel comes out, you may have to fall back to maximize window, too. But, you know, big round of applause to the developers out there that are actually, like, solving these problems that uh, NVIDIA won't immediately because... I've read countless reviews on Windows 8 from a gamer's perspective where they said they actually went back to Windows 7 specifically because these features weren't in the NVIDIA driver. And that just really, really sucks because overall, Windows 8 is actually really good. I've been enjoying it after using it for a couple weeks and with uh, some third-party modifications from Stardock using like Start 8 and, uh, and uh, some of the other tools that they have you actually end up getting a pretty pretty cool experience in Windows 8 and the resources are lower and I tend to get better performance. Um, so it's a good operating system. It just needs, it needs some work. It needs NVIDIA to basically make it a first class citizen and really focus on giving it the same features they did in Windows 7. And companies like Stardock should just keep on trailblazing the whole desktop initiative with Windows 8 to make it more desktop friendly and give you back things like the start bar. Um, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, I just found a bug while we were videotaping this. You guys know this. I don't hide anything. I just do one take and post it. But over here, my, my start bar is actually opening up completely over on another screen. <laughs> so so uh, Start 8 uh, by uh, Stardock does not appear to be 100% compatible with this. I'll try rebooting the computer and playing around with it. But let me know if you have a, if you have a similar experience because that might be a deal breaker for the center taskbar functionality. But... Um, Oh, my God, that's funny. <laughs> but hey, at any rate, guys, I'll quit babbling. You guys try it for yourself. The links will be in the description. Again, I hope you had a nerdgasm. I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, take it easy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.